Well, keep it kind of there and I'm just in it. Mm -hmm. Is it on? Yeah, it should be. Mm -hmm. so much for joining uh, me for another video today so the timeline of this video might seem a little weird that is because I recorded an intro for this video but the wind was so bad outside today that you can't actually hear anything I was saying um, so in today's video we are going to cut the vibe hood up and install heat extractor vents so basically the purpose of these is to allow hot air to flow out of the engine bay um, Right now, mainly the only area the heat has to go is down and out under the car, which, if you know, heat rises. Uh, so that's not exactly ideal. Uh, so I'm just trying to do whatever I can to allow more air to get in and out of the engine bay. That way temps can stay down uh, whenever I start autocrossing and really beating on the car consistently.
just got the vibe back home and look how good these turned out they're gonna be awesome for letting a lot of hot air out and it should help keep cool air going over by the uh, the intake the intake is actually more right here but it's still located close enough that it will help don't mind the electrical tape on there uh, one of the screws for my math backed itself out um, and I can't find the part in to replace it so that's just temporary this is the hydrophobic sock I got for my intake so that if any rainwater comes down in here I don't got to worry anything about it and this is the underside of the hood how it looks now as you can see we did have to cut part of the x-brace off but most of the structural rigidity is still there especially in the center of the hood so we don't got to really worry about it as much but I don't know it would be interesting to see how good these work and how they try to help keep temps down uh, 177 is about where I want to be at I'm gonna be changing this out for something else um, I am gonna get some sort of battery cover because this does line up with the battery but that's all we got to do for that and then I went back into the rear and I added the one and a half inch spacers that I had up front back on because I couldn't just deal with how the wheel was fitting before it was way too tucked because for whatever reason the back end on this goes in half an inch more than the front uh, it's probably just to do with it being front wheel drive but um honestly the new hood vents look perfect they're subtle but yet aggressive and they'll actually help keep the car a little bit cooler all right guys so as you saw we got the hood vents installed basically all we had to do um some universal hood vents actually come with a template and you just do everything based on the template you just place the template where you want it that was not the case with these so what we did is we measured eight and a half inch down from the top of the hood that's where the top part of the heat extractor vent was going to start then we laid down duct tape right wrote down the top the bottom uh we didn't center it because we had the top and the bottom and then uh there's about a half inch lip around and that's what holds the heat vent on or the heat extractor vent my bad so all we did was measure half an inch in from that drill the hole in each four corner and then cut to each hole and then trimmed out whatever area of the x brace uh was intruding on that i'll include a couple photos um so that you guys can see what it looked like before and what it looked like after the video kind of shows it um so i'm interested to see how these hold up uh see if they actually make any improvements hopefully uh I'll notice it a little bit in stop and go traffic, but honestly, they're more ideal if you're continuously moving. Uh, so if you guys liked today's video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.